Hi everyone, it's Rob and Alice here from Spirit Lifestyle. The Miracle Workshop, it was full to capacity again and we saw, like literally in the introductions, what we did was we had a, a couple called Zoe and Kevin who had attended a London workshop of ours maybe two years ago, two or three years ago. And they basically, they got up and just watched this clip, this short clip of them just sharing some of what has happened since they came to that workshop. So this is the day after the workshop. So at the workshop, you've seen stuff happening and you're kind yeah. of people who are getting healed and yeah. delivered. Yeah. And that's the first time you've done that kind of thing. And then the very next day, you meet somebody who has some demons. And what happened? Yeah. What did you do? But basically, the girl came around, she was depressed. She was in quite a bad way. We could see clearly she was, um, uh, you know, she had demons and stuff by what we'd learned. And so we just learned exactly what we, what, what we got told. Um, we cast out the demons, uh, we see complete change, you know. Uh, we was kind of, like I say, throwing deep water straight away with it, you know. Um, uh, but that's kind of encouraged us to, to, you know, carry on with it. And there's different people that get, kept getting put in our path. Um, we're baptising yeah, people since yeah, then, you yeah, know, yeah. We've, we've delivered lots of people, we loads of people have led to the Lord, we had a lady who was practising witchcraft. She got, you know, yoga and I'm doing all this stuff and anyway, that was, you know, she got saved. Holy Spirit, um, mm. she fell on the floor and she had a hyphen spirit yeah. come out, which had come in through all the yoga and when the shackles are open, they, you know, mm. nip in. And, um, and so, so yeah, she just, she, even as we just said, holy fire, she was on the Lord. floor, lots come out, and so now she's like radical for the Lord as well, wow. she's a prophetess, she's like moving, wow. she's on fire, yeah. and, and it's just gone like that, so the Lord just mm. keeps sending loads of people around to her house, and, uh, and, and, and just, the fire's spreading, wow. and they're all doing the same, we're teaching them right. what you taught us. That's what we find with these workshops, that it's just like, lighting the touch paper and really the, it's a platform and it launches very many people into uh, like a fresh season and a new level of anointing and activity yeah. and ministry that's uh, just very exciting yeah, to see. Yeah, we get it? lots of feedback from people like that that just really go for They're it. They're ready to go. So it's coming to one of our workshops, that's what the Lord uses to do is to help launch and activate people like you. So um, yeah, so they shared about that and then a lady came up and called Jill and she literally just in the introduction she starts telling everybody um, you know I was in, involved in New Age and I saw Alice on TV and I read a book or some of her books and how she repented and renounced all the New Age practices and the Reiki and everything and she gave her life to Jesus and she was there sharing that and as she shared that just in literally in the introductions before we even started the workshop She's got tears in her eyes, I've got tears in my eyes, and I felt this nudge from the Holy Spirit to just invite anybody else who wanted to get, you know, to give their life to Jesus to come out. So I just said that, and just watch as these people just get up from their seats, and they just come to the front of the meeting, and we start praying together. They renounce things they've been involved with, and um, we had somebody who was a Reiki master there, you know, was renouncing all that. People were giving their lives to Jesus. Somebody who had been on drugs and was getting free from that. Um, just incredible. People renouncing New Age practices, you know, mm -hmm. paganism and all the rest of it. And just getting clean, um, getting delivered of that, renouncing it. There's a call to holiness, I think across the yeah. land and uh, the Lord's just wanting to raise up a people who, who are serious about walking yeah. in his ways and righteousness and uh, it's just a delight to be involved in that. Oh it, it is and you know the Holy Spirit is really moving and convicting people of sin. They come in, they're coming out and their families again. We had this guy, um, you can probably see him now on the video where he he came we you know we release people into activation straight away that rob was sharing and teaching from the bible about miracles in the first session and then we release people to practice on each other and miracles break out and we did again we didn't have enough time to, for people to share all the testimonies of the miracles breaking out but this guy comes out and he shared how he's had a lump, a big lump on his hand, and that just disappeared when somebody just prayed for oh, him. Oh, that was great. Yeah. And then had a lump on his side that, you know, it's disappearing while we're on camera. And um, it turns out that his daughter is one of the ones that got saved in the morning, in the very, in the introductions. 
and just the, I guess the session before that one where he got healed and then at the end of the day he's coming out and he's sharing um, some more you watch this clip now because he's showing some more things that happened to him during the day and yeah but then I have the root, I've got there when I said the roots root type arthritis and high blood pressure every time I sit down you give me about three minutes if I get up it's like my ankles and my knees are going to fall off you know I said Lord I can't put you this because I pay my tithe I pay my offering and you know you have given me the of obedience because the way the Lord Jesus found me I was proper iron right out yeah but he's done a deep surgery in me, took me off heroin, took me off crack cocaine, wow. and today he's doing more because he started from here and he's worked all the way down to my ankles and my feet. You know what I mean? I can give some of that now. <laughs> so, uh, with an attitude of gratitude to Lord Jesus, I'm, I'm grateful. Even my daughter Shanice, she was suffering from chronic seizures. When it comes, she didn't recognize me. Wow. But the Lord has done something wow. in her to that also. And then he's talking about his daughter. And, you know, she comes out and she gets free from demons. We're watching this clip here, and she's getting free from demons. And she's smiling, I think, for the first time in a very long time. But we had, you know, families again. But we had so many people getting healed. We had. The, you know the lady that had brought a dog with her, it's like a disability carer's dog, I don't know what you call it, but she would brought her dog with her to look after her because she was, this lady was disabled. And yeah, in one of the sessions when we were getting people to practice on each other, she gets healed and here she is just sharing about what happened to her. Have you had that? Yes. And I said to you, by the end of the day, there's going to be no pain and there's no pain. <laughs> So now as we look forward to the rest of this year, go to our website spiritlifestyle.com for all the details and we just want to pray with you as we finish. So we just, we release your breakthrough right yes, now. Father. Yeah, Lord, that we ask that you would do whatever anybody needs that's watching, Lord God, that you would bring them into a closer relationship with you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. That you would, yeah, draw them to yourself and we release miracles, a breakthrough, healing, finances, uh, family restoration, whatever it is you need, we release, we come into agreement with heaven um, for you and uh, in the name of Jesus. Amen.